30 seconds to save a person's life. Hypoglycemia, diabetic emergency. Hypo means low, glycemia, blood sugar. So this is when we need to act really fast. Do you know somebody who suffers from diabetes? It doesn't matter if it's type one, type two, it can affect the person the same. So how are you gonna know if they're having a hypo? So let's look at the character. Are they becoming withdrawn? Are they gray? Have they got clammy skin? Are they becoming agitated and quite aggressive? Not their normal self. You need to act quick. The sugar levels have dropped down so low, it could become very serious. So what are you gonna do? You're going to give them something very sugary, like Coke, or you can give them, I know, sweeties like Haribo's, or what's really good to have inside your first aid kit at work are these. Dextro, it is high energy and um, they don't taste very nice, but these are great to have inside your first aid kit. Why? Because if you put this inside your first aid kit, it's not going to last very long and somebody's going to drink it. If you put these inside the first aid kit, I can guarantee you when you need them, they're not going to be there because somebody's going to open them and um, ooh, they're going to eat them just like me. So get something like this. They're not expensive. 80 pence, something like that. Have them inside your first aid kit. Give them a couple of these if they're having a hypo and that will increase their sugar levels to a happy level. But what you must do then is make sure that they eat carbohydrates, whether it's toast, sandwich, some dry biscuits. It's just we need to make sure that they stay at this happy level. I'm going to give you a little demonstration about how I explain this to some people who don't quite understand what is happening to somebody who suffers from um, a hypoglycemic attack. So let's think, hmm, driving, driving home from work, right? Barney Rubble style. You're driving home from work, da 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 da, and the petrol light comes on, ding, or diesel, whatever it is that runs your car, and you think, ah, oh, flipping heck, it's all right. Hmm. Only 15 miles to go till I get home. I'll make it. It's all right. Can't be bothered stopping. And then you see a sign. Stop. Diversion. Accident ahead. <gasps> you didn't factor that into your petrol, did you? So now you're diverted. You've got to go the long route home. And you see the petrol ticking, ticking, ticking. And what's going to happen to the petrol? It's going to run out. And stop. So what would you do in this situation? Your car's run out of fuel. What are you going to do? I know what I would do. I'd probably be on the phone to my dad saying, Dad, I run out of fuel. And he'd probably go and get a little jerry can and he will come and he will put emergency amount of fuel into my car so I can carry on with my journey. But where is it I'm going to stop next? The petrol station. The jerry can has got me out of the emergency the sugar has got that person out of the emergency, but now I need to go to the petrol station to fill up, to make sure it doesn't happen again. And it's exactly the same for a diabetic who is having a hypoglycemic attack. The sugar gets them out of trouble, but they need to go and refuel, get the carbohydrates inside of them so that everything is happy. Tips to remember though, if that person who's having a hyperglycemic attack goes into seizure, you must call 999. If you give the person the sugar and it doesn't work, has no effect, then you must call 999. But let's hope we catch it in time. Just remember, have the tools to hand. It could be Coke, something high sugar in your fridge at work or at home. It could be the Harry Bows, but as I've already mentioned, we're not going to last long because people are going to eat them. So get something like this. You can buy it in supermarkets. Keep it inside your first aid kit for an emergency. So that's hypoglycemia. My name's Sarah Phillips and I am owner and trainer of First Aid at Work, Aberdeen and Aberdeenshire. Thanks for watching. Keep safe.